Hello everybody. Welcome back to Game Set Match. This is the Golf Cart Jockey Victory Tour and we are getting started. So, <laughs> there's a wackadoodle around there somewhere. Oh, see, get yourself a big boy tractor and try again, he says. Ah. There was some jousting going on. We didn't fare so well. Luckily, we weren't recording, so he can't prove anything. I hope he wasn't recording anyways. We weren't. Ah, oh, forgot. All day I've been going through there and haven't got. I even went the wrong way through the roundabout. This is all going bad. I'm blaming it on you guys. This is not my fault. Um, look, we got a windrower. This is, this is not what you would expect, right? We thought we were past all that. Sold ours. We're doing a thing. So, if this works, maybe, maybe, if it works, it will be, oh, bounce that off the fence, it will be the deciding factor here. So, we're, we're, uh, we're still in this thing, bottom of the ninth, we are way down, because look at all the stuff he's got to harvest. We are way, way down, but we have spent this entire afternoon... At the thinking table. Uh, normally they wouldn't even let us sit down there. But nobody else was around. So they didn't see us. So we went in real quick. We sat down at the thinking table. And we come up with a plan. Uh, actually. We're cutting through here. Because I don't know where I'm going. The plan. Started by accident. As most good plans do. I think that you'll find that's, that's true. Um, I was cutting this horse grass and I realized after one lap that for some reason this bale wouldn't wrap I had wrapped all the others the whole rest of the field wrapped them all up well except for that one that was straw but that was you know leftover straw from when we were baling our fields so these won't wrap Semi-dry horse grass. These. Just say grass. So. What happens. Since they wouldn't wrap with the wrapper that is on our. Auto magic baler that we have. I started looking and. Um, the more I looked. The more I found. Interesting. So, let me get this thing. How do you unfold this? Well, that bale right there wouldn't wrap on the back of the Vicon. But if I put it in here, it'll wrap. Interesting. Now we're thinking, huh? Something's going on here, right? Automagic wouldn't wrap that one. Had to get this one. And this isn't even uh, the regular Ursus. This is a mod. I'll show you in the store here in a second. Um, I think it's safe to show this now because there's no more horse grass left on the map. Unload. Now let's take a look at this one. We know that those pink ones are grass now. I say just grass, 4,000 liters. That says horse grass fermented, 4,000 liters. Hmm. Price of horse grass fermented is $3,000 a ton. So, that's what we're spending thousands of dollars to find out this afternoon. We have pretty much for, just for, forsaken all regular farm work. We have soybeans we could, or soybeans with sunflowers we could harvest. We have plenty of grass we could mow. Uh, bales we could collect. But, I think we should try to win this thing, right? So, now, we figured that part out, right? Kind of by accident and kind of by trial and error by spending a lot of money, getting a lot of equipment. Um, and then we couldn't replicate it. Uh, we had one, I don't know where there's another bale around here that's weird. Actually, I think it might've got wrapped. So one come out that looked kind of like this, but it was a little bit darker and it was a different kind of horse grass and it got wrapped too. Once it was wrapped, it said the same thing. Grass, just grass. So only in this one state will it turn into horse grass fermented.
Now I figured out what that state was. Uh, let's see, that's not it. Oh, that's that's what we own. By going to the Baylors, going over here, and I noticed these say multi fruit. These were not on Georgetown. This is the same server mod list that we had on Georgetown. These were not on the Georgetown map. Hmm, interesting. So we started to wonder. Now look, if you look at the bottom down there, that horse grass only has two little raindrops beside it, right? So the horse grass with two little raindrops is just horse grass windrow. Now, earlier, I think it was the first season, when the wackadoodle cut this horse grass, he had wet horse grass, which has three drops right there. Three drops when you wrap it turns into regular grass. The two drops apparently turns it into horse grass fermented. And apparently there's no timer. It's just instantly fermented. So these are bales right here that are going to be fermented horse grass. One, two, three, counting that one. And then what I have one down here. I think there's one in the road, right? Yeah, over there. So there's four there, five there. So we're talking thousand dollar bales here. Five thousand dollars right there. We just made our money back for all our testing and our leasing that we performed this afternoon. And we still have this field. It doesn't look like much right there, but I think it's a pretty decent yield. Um, so we have this field and we sweet talked the wackadoodle. We didn't tell him why we wanted to buy his farm, <laughs> but we made a deal that who cares about the rules? Just buy and sell whatever you want. Who cares, right? Who cares when or when you buy fields or whatever? So, <laughs> it's just, I run around a lot. He must be watching us. He's a weirdo. I'm telling you. That guy needs a hobby. Anyways, <laughs> so this is uh, is his farm. Now, some places you can see is drier than the others. If you hit this horse grass that is already two raindrops, it instantly turns it into this. So if you ted it twice, it will turn into this. And this does not get wrapped and turned into fermented horse grass because it is dry horse grass. So it is essentially horse hay. So that right there is horse hay. That right there is what we're looking for. And it's very hard to tell the difference, especially with the sun going down like it is. So first day of autumn, probably going to get dark pretty quick. That's why we have a windrower, though. We have to get all this stuff arranged into rows so that we can come bale it, hopefully paying enough attention that we don't start a bale on this stuff, because if we do, that's just a wasted $400 bale, the same as a regular grass silage bale. So, um, this is what we're looking for. This is bad. That's not the right color. So, um, neither is that. This is, yeah, this could go either way. This is going to take a lot of focus, but um, I think we can do it. Uh, this might be it. We might have found the solution here. He can have his big field over there. It's always been quality over quantity for us, and this might be the way that we can do it. So, uh, that being, now that I say that, he's not going to wrap the bale, is it? Make me look silly. All right, so. I'm going to go wind row while I can still see. Um, this will not be a very long episode. Uh, I got another early day tomorrow, but I couldn't skip again. We had too much fun on here, so <laughs> we'll be on here as long as we can. But yeah, I'm not, not going to have a whole lot to do. Um, yeah, we don't want to record in the night, but I don't think either one of us are quite ready to skip night yet either. Uh, let's see, where are we? As a matter of fact... He's always spying on us. We can go spy on him, right? Oh, oh, he is done harvesting. Okay, so he's bailing. He'll be done by tonight, so he'll be ready here shortly. Um, I think this is the only one he had to get up tonight. Is that true? Oh, excuse me. Uh, his soybeans are not ready to harvest, and neither is his corn. So, yeah, this is all he had to get up. All right, then. We'll work on into the night here a little bit. And hopefully, 
Like I say, we will be on our victory tour here. This could be it. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna call it a win either way, just because he couldn't figure out the horse grass and we did it. Uh, I think that's an automatic win. Pretty sure that was in the rule book there. So I'm gonna go write that rule book real quick in case he has to see it, and I'll be right back. All right, we got everything wind rode up. Man, there's some pathetic looking windrows, I can tell you that. Not exactly appealing, but that's okay. So I will know we're doing the right thing if the bale comes out and does not start wrapping. Oh, Ooh, wait. We got, yeah. This is bad. Uh, the button, that would be the button. There we go. All right. Now turn our display back on. Get all this stuff out of here. All right. That's all we needed down there at the bottom. Dry horse grass windrow. All right. That's not what we want. That's bad. Let's uh, oop, crash into the gate. Let's go find some filler that we know is not the good stuff and finish this bale out. Stuff right there. I apologize for getting dark. I know it's going to be hard to see, but uh, at the same time, like I said, I don't think I'll be able to stay on until we skip night, and I don't want to wait another day to do this again, so wait, let's see. There was a big old pile up here. Oh, yeah. Like I say, this might, <laughs> might not work just because of how hard it's going to be to get the right grass started on the bale because there's so many different types out here and <laughs> baler's so picky or I guess not picky it's so so good at picking up Jesus mm, isn't isn't working like I hoped all right gotta be something else around here I don't want to waste 14 percent of good stuff you know let's see that's bad right there Whoa, jump out of the tractor. Of course, it shut down for the three seconds we were out of it. Oh, me. All right. I guess we'll just let it go. That bothers me, but oh well. I don't know where we picked the dry up. We were very careful about this. I don't know how we started one with it, but such is the ropes. Semi dry. Look, we're still not... Oh, this is heartbreaking. Why is that? <laughs> it's still the wrong one. Oh, man. These are... Not good. It's not good. Oh, yeah. I always forget about the preloading part. It's like, wait a second. Why didn't that bale come out? Yeah, there's no bale there. Oh, man. Another semi-dry. Well, we figured it out anyways. Like I say, we're going to call the win. Even if it's going to be that ridiculous about it. Uh, we did figure out how to make fermented horse grass. It's just not going to let us do it anymore. That is ridiculous that it is. It just thinks everything is semi-dry now. That's not the case and we know it's not. <laughs> oh well you win some you lose some right that'll just make it easier for me to go to bed tonight that is that's heartbreaking like we literally just demonstrated this I just showed you this and now it's not oh well it'd be sad somewhere else right <laughs> I just don't understand it like why how that's not is that the right one? It's only got one we needed two raindrops, didn't we? I'm heartbroken. We've been a we've been awake too long. Let's go. Where's a wrapper at? Maybe that's the same color. I don't jeez, I don't even know anymore. That's such a weird thing. Who makes eight different stages of grass anyways? 
I love you, Oxy, but <laughs> we're we're getting a little too complicated here. We are creating solutions in search of problems. All right, let's see. Will this thing wrap? Can you turn this thing on or no? <laughs> well, all right. Hey, <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll do both horse grass and semi dry horse grass. Who knows? It's wrapping. That's all that matters. Whatever. Let's see what happens when it comes off. I'm just, I'm lost. Welcome to our educational episode here. Uh, we figure out, oh, we figure out exactly how not to make silage bales. Okay, so it seems to have worked. We're just freaking out about nothing, maybe. I don't. Know. And it didn't look right. I swear we didn't. I'll have to go back and look at the tape. Didn't we have two of the raindrops on there? I don't know. Doesn't matter, right? We got what we got, so... <laughs> Even if it is the wrong number of ring drops, we can't change them, so... We can't put more drops on there. We're gonna bail it regardless. It's so weird, though. I swear it was two. I know it was. Why are we going so slow? Oh, okay, that's the dry one. That's the one we just put out. This is the one we couldn't figure out where the dry stuff came from. <coughs> Excuse me. So here comes another one. That should be nice and green. All right, so we can tell by the color then, I guess. As long as it doesn't wrap and it's nice and green, we should be good. <laughs> it's as simple as that, right? As long as all these criteria are met. Easy peasy. All right. Well, maybe maybe we got a shot. Who knows? I want to get 22 of these things and wrap them up and take a whole trailer load to sell. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll have time to do that tonight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're not even halfway yet. Uh, even if I stopped to wrap all those bales, that would take a minute, and then we would have to load them and sell them. So, yeah, we won't worry about doing that tonight. We will finish this out, get a couple more uh, bailed up, get this field done at least, and call it a night. Well, call it a night in real life. We're not going to call it a night on here just yet. We got, I think, a little bit more we can do. I'm so excited about this now. I mean, man, I wish there were fields of this all over the map. We could just go pick up horse grass. See if we could turn this thing around. Well, I know what. I know what we'll do. We'll finish this field and we will wrap these and we'll take these and sell them. Old trailer or not, we will at least know if we get thousands and thousands of dollars, right? That's what we're all here for. Let's see what kind of money we get. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. I gotta, I gotta tell you. This is, uh, this is one of those fortunate things that, uh, like I say, was mostly by accident. Um, oh, there was something else. So the I showed you... What did I show you? I showed you the bale wrappers and stuff. They say multi-fruit right there. I also noticed when I went to buy our hay bind the other day that these mowers say mower conditioner and they claim that they will anything they mow is immediately dried. I, once I figured that out on the other part, leased 
the uh, the mowers right here, the pottingers, and put them on our bitty, bitty little cloths, <laughs> and I mowed these fields with them. And I think that helped because that put uh, one tedding state on it right off the bat. So then when I hit it with the tedder, that's where it got us to the stage we need to be. I think that's the key, is the mower. I think perhaps uh, he was getting wet coarse grass windrow when he mowed, and ours, after we mowed, was just regular horse grass windrow, not the wet variety. So, I think that's the difference. Um, yeah, like I said, that was, we've, had a, we've had a fun evening trial and erroring it, and uh, hopefully we can make enough off of this to to get back in this race, because, you know, I, I'm torn. I really, I don't think we're that far out of the race. I don't think, let's say that he gets a good fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 profit off of that field, that big field that he's got. I still have 136 tons of wood chips. Like, he still has to offset what I have still. And from, you know, other than that, I think we're just trading silage bales, so... I think he's in trouble. I really do. If these bales pay out any kind of money, I think we got him. I, I really do. Um. Yeah, I mean, neither one of us owe any money anymore. Oh, well, that's not true. Actually, we do owe we owe eighty thousand dollars because we had to buy this farmland right here. That was one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. My goodness, that was an expensive farm. Um, yeah, so we had to take out a little bit of loan. We had like 85000 so we had to borrow the other half. And we'll get this up and get it sold, so that money will be right back in there. So, Ooh, excuse me, uh, pay that bank loan off, and we'll be right back around our original $80,000. So, before we start selling these. So that's not a bad deal. Um, another good thing is they don't have a timer on them, so... We will wrap them this evening and find a higher price for them and get them sold. That's a good thing, right? All right. Oh, oh wait. Oh, goodness. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go wrap some really, really quick. And I will come back and we will make a a trip to, to cash in, hopefully. We'll see what we get off of them. But let me go wrap some and I'll be right back. All right, let's crash through some hedges and pretend like we do it on purpose. And then we will go up to the Wackadoodles, other former farm man. It seems like everywhere we go, we're saying that, right? Geez, how many has he got? Uh, we're going up to his secondary former farm and we're going to sell these bales there. Now, we have uh, 13, 14... Silage bales plus one dry, I guess, coarse hay is what we'll call it. It's dried horse grass. So uh, we just picked that up because it was still in that field that would wrap. So we got that whole field picked up. And like I say, we've got 14 bales. I think there's 12 on the bottom row plus I can see two on the top. So we'll call that 14. And into that, I guess anything less than $14,000 for this trailer load will be a failure. Um... We get, for a full load of 22 bales, when the price is good for silage, we get ten or $11,000. If we don't have ten or $11,000 in these 14 bales, then everything we've just done was for naught, and we just wasted money leasing that equipment, and we wasted a whole afternoon testing it. But, I mean, you know, technically we still had a good time. We figured some things out. And feel pretty good about that. $16,000 for 14 bales. Now that is not bad, my friend. That is not bad. Almost $17,000. And that was not a full trailer load. Oh, we just don't have enough of them, you know? <laughs> we just don't have enough. But, that being said, now... We, we can't focus on the, the minutia of what just happened there. The, on the bigger picture, we sold fermented horse grass for thousands of dollars. And that little bitty field that we just bailed made us $17,000.
we would not have made $17,000 worth of silage bales off that field. Absolutely, right? So we got a couple more fields to pick up. Uh, now, the first field we did, unfortunately, we didn't know all this at the time. So those are just regular silage bales. Uh, so don't get too excited about those. Those are nothing, uh, nothing special there. But the other uh, two fields, I guess we'll call them two grass areas around the farm, have yet to be baled. So we have, I would say, a conservative uh, hope, I should say, um, a full trailer load. So we'll see what we can get for those things now. We're super excited about this. I don't know. Well, that's pretty cool. So. We got a shot. We're still in this thing. He is not going to run away from us, I promise you. And like I say, he's going to have to overcome our wood chips, too. At some point, he's going to have to to have something to compensate for that. And I think that's what Field 92 will do. I think that will offset that, and we will trade silage bales the rest of the way. Um, assuming he doesn't cash in $100,000 on his soybeans and corn. Now, uh, I think with the soybeans and corn, I think I have enough acreage and grass to cut that we can we can offset that. I think we have field 87 and 85, and they are just enormous fields. So the field, as a matter of fact, the second biggest field is field 87. We own that, and it is fully fertilized. So fully grown, full of grass, and fully fertilized, we should get a enormous amount of grass off that field i'm looking for a whole lot of silage bales there these two fields both of those have a state of fertilizing and have been plowed so we should get pretty good off of there this is an enormous field too we have uh no fertilizing on that one yeah nothing it needs lime and no fertilizing but it has a plowed state so we're still getting a little bit better than than base yield so you know what? We got a lot of acres here. I think we can do this thing. I think so. And we're certainly a lot more confident now. Oh, there's another bale I didn't come wrap. And we didn't get that one out of the road. So we got two more horse grass bales we can ferment. All these are regular ones. Uh, you can tell because they're not sitting on their side the way that the Ursus unloads. So... That's how we can tell that now. Oh, I forgot one there. And forgot one there. So we have four already ready to go. Two in the other field, two in this field. We're going to make some money. We are going to make some horse grass money. I like it. All right. So I'm going to bed. We uh, <laughs> will celebrate this tonight. And we'll get back to work tomorrow. So I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Guard Jackie, and I want you to have a good day.